Morning, gents. So, yeah. at 0800 hours this morning, an anonymous package was left at the station. Inside was a video camera. The camera itself has been smashed to bits. However, we have been able to recover the footage on the tape. As you all know, I've been in the force for 30 years, but this case is the most bizarre and horrifying case I've ever worked on. I would like you all to see the footage. This is a very unusual case. So jot down everything. Lights. Hi, my name's Elliot Mooney, student number 0685205. My name is Jake McIntyre, my student number is 0543-7921. And this, what you're about to see, will be our final project for our video and film production degree. So um, hopefully you enjoy. Yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy the documentary. Um, yeah, rock and roll. Uh, I think we've um, really got an interesting um, subject matter here, here like, like, yeah. which um, we're yeah. going to look at and hopefully we can get to the bottom of um, this case, um, which doesn't quite add up, so we hope to give a new take on it. Hopefully you're going to enjoy it, so should we do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Cool. Cut there. Our case starts on November the 9th, 2006, where the remains of a brutally murdered man were discovered in a car near to Ridswood Woods. The story made national news, and the internet was full of conspiracy theories of some kind of wild animal attack. But the events leading up to this gruesome murder are still unclear. Throughout this documentary, Jake and I hope to find out what really happened on November the 9th. Through interviews and an on-site investigation, we hope to find definitive proof to answer the question. Was this really some kind of wild animal attack? Or was it, as many believe, cold-blooded murder? Hello, I'm uh, Reeve Ryder. I uh, write for the Daily Port. I was reporting on the Ribsford murders. You were the first reporter at the scene. Can you tell us what happened? The police said that the, the, the deceased man in the car was named uh, Bob Nugent. Um, his cause of death was uh, unidentified, I mean, I, we don't know. Um, uh, later that day, though, it was said that there's two other people involved, uh, a Mr. Paul Webster and, and a Miss Sally Edwards. Um, not too much was known about those other than that they were said to be engaged to be married and that they were out on a, on a walking holiday. Um, bizarrely enough, um, Paul Webster's body has never been found. Um, he's still out there, missing, presumed dead. I did actually interview an, an eyewitness who, who found the car. I can play that interview for you now. You ain't never gonna believe what happened. Well, I was out walking my dog Arch along the lane. We saw this woman run over the brow of the hill. She's flapping her arms and just going spared. She ran up to us, she's covered in blood. She's screaming her head off. She's going, run, run, before it kills you. She grabbed hold of my coat and she said, don't go any further, don't go over there, it's dangerous. I pushed her away, I said, get off me, you drago, get out of it. I just kept on walking and the dog was going mental as well. We put him, put him all over the gap. So I carried on walking and my dog wouldn't go any further. He just sat down, I left him where he was, I kept on going. And then out the corner of my eye, I saw his car smashed to bits, there's all blood everywhere. I thought, fucking hell, what's going on here? There's a bloke with his throat ripped open, his face torn apart. It was horrific, mate, it was savage. When the police did find Sally Edwards, uh, she was covered in blood, covered, and it stirred up a mist of controversy and um, quite naturally the story went viral. I, um, I have these newspaper cuttings. Oh, yeah, so if you want to take a look at those. Oh, yeah, thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Uh, Cheers. Cheers.
the jury reached a verdict of guilty that uh, Sally had committed murder. Um, she had no witnesses and no alibi, so all she could ever do was plead her innocence. She kept saying um, something along the lines of, uh, you know, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, whatever it was, it was inhuman. Something along those lines, over and over. I mean, it was, it was, uh, it was interesting, even if it was bleak. Thank you, Reed, for being part of the documentary. You've really helped us out. No problem. Cut there, Jake. All right, mate. Sorry to disturb you. I was just wondering if I could have a moment of your time. Me and my mate are doing a documentary about the Ribsford murders. You know what happened back in 2006? Yeah, I, I remember those. Yeah, the monster story in the paper. Oh, so you agree that it was a monster? Or do you think it was Sally Edwards? <laughs> You, you think there's a monster? Come on. Are you, are you really seriously asking me that question? We're just trying to get a broad opinion. There's no that. such thing as monsters, mate. You know, I've, I have. I've seen horror people. I went to war. And, you know, I've, I've seen... Mankind is, creates the horror. You know, it's not... It's no monsters. If scooby Doo taught us nothing, mate, it's that monsters are men. They're not, in this case, a woman. You know, Sally yeah, Edwards. Yeah. But, you know, there's no such thing as monsters. You know, apart from the ones we construct. So in your mind, you're 100% that is Sally Edwards? Yeah, she, she, should, she should hang, you know, she should fry for what she's done. Um, she's the monster. Sally Edwards, she's your monster. Okay, well, um, if that's what you think, uh, no, thank you so no, much for your time. Yeah, have a good night, good luck. So you believe Sally Edwards was wrongly accused? 100%. 100%. A thousand percent. Yeah, there's no way it was that girl. No, no way. And you have both seem pretty certain of that. Well, like I say, we've known her since she was what, three, four years of age, and she, you know, she was this little when she used to come round our house and pinch our biscuits. This is, you know, nice getting some positive feedback, mm. you know, about, you know, the whole case and from her point of view. Yeah. Um, could you just like tell me your reaction when you found out that she would be the main suspect? Oh god, god it was absolutely stunned. And just... Shock when you saw the picture. I'm yeah. speechless. Yeah. Just... I thought I thought it was a joke, you know. So what do you guys think happened? Do you believe her story, the whole story yeah. about the beast? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, look, I, I mean I know it sounds crazy, but I think there's something out there and I don't know if it's a, a wild animal that's escaped from somewhere. Perhaps it's easier to blame her than it is to go looking for the real evil in those woods. Exactly, it's, it's just disgusting. We've been looking through these files, like, you know, of this case and it doesn't add up, there's something missing. We'll put this in the documentary and Fantastic. hopefully, you know, oh, yeah. something will come of it. Hope we've helped. Good. You've helped. Yeah. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so guys. Much, yeah. right, cut there. Uh, yes, that's correct, young man. I've heard of the RWRA, the Ripsford Woods Rambling Association. There is no beast. Okay, so what about the disappearance of Paul Webster? Sally swore it was some kind of inhuman beast? This Sally girl was sent down for the boy's murder. I've rambled these woods since I was a boy of 15. Are you seriously trying to tell me, in all your times going through the woods, you've never seen anything strange at all? No beastly activity? In 35 years I've seen nothing. No beasts, no dark energy. Ribsford Woods is a beautiful place. Now you stop listening to these bloody journalists. Ribsford Woods lovely. Come here. It's peaceful. Thank you for your time. And thank you for yours, bloody millennials. Cut there. I just received an email back from the park ranger at the safari park and he states that there's been no animal outbreaks in 2006. Any time in 2006? Any time in 2006, no, none at all. So that kind of rules out that theory. Well, fair enough then, dude. Guess it's back to the drawing board. My name is Professor Moses and I lecture on myths legends, folklore and cryptozoology at the University of Henwick. Could you give us any information about the beast of Ribsford Wood? For hundreds of years the myth of the beast has persisted in the UK. A supposedly mythical creature appearing as a large black animal in remote areas of woodland. The beast of Ribsford Woods is a, is a classic example of this and has been supposedly spotted countless times. Is it all just fantasy? Someone's, you know, idea of a long-running joke? There is more to this than a hoax, I believe. There is a potential supernatural answer behind this. 
Do you believe the beast killed Bob Nugent and Paul Webster in 2006? It's got all the hallmarks of an animal attack. I've got some photographs to show you. These were taken over a period of 30 years. You know, honestly, I was expecting them to, you know, some of them to look a bit fake. Yeah, but am they? They am don't they? at all. Photographs of the beast that killed my brother. Uh, who's this? It was taken by Rex Webster, the brother of the late Paul Webster. Paul Webster was supposedly killed by the beast. Yeah. Oh, well, Rex and I are old friends. I've, I've got his number somewhere. I'll get it for you. Oh, awesome. Oh. He needs to be part of the documentary. Well, if he's up for it. You're not actually going to Ripper St. Woods, are you? Yeah? Yeah, of course. Ah. Well, look, I don't want to frighten you, but just be very careful, OK? Don't worry. We'll be fine. Thank you for your time, Professor Moses. Yeah, that'll be a hundred guineas. Cool. I want to say thank you, Rex, for being part of this documentary. Firstly, before we start, my brother did not kill anyone. Yeah? No way. All right, so don't you believe in any of these bullshit stories you might have heard? I've seen your photos of the beast. You believe it was the beast who killed your brother? Yes. 100%. Because lots of people have their own opinion on what happened. They say Sally did it. Sally? No, 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 no way. Do you know they arrested me? Me? Right, they reckon me and Sally have got this little plan to kill Paul off and run off together. Ridiculous. There are eyewitness accounts of the beast going way back. Do you think these are hoaxes? People messing around? You, what? I've seen this thing with my own eyes. You know what? People said my photograph was a fake. You know, a wind-up. My brother, Bob, and a whole load of other people have all been murdered by this beast. Sally's innocent. Yeah? But one day the truth will come out. And I will. Thank you, Rex, for your time. It's a pleasure. Jake? Oh, hey. after Jake? Sorry, sorry dude, sorry. You ready? Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so today we are at um, Henwick Psychiatric Unit because we've secured an interview with Sally Edwards. Yes! Yeah. Yes! She's agreed to answer some questions for the documentary, so let's go. Let's go. Filming, filming. Yeah, 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 this film. is going to be good, like, you know. Finally, we're gonna again get to hear her side and what she's saying. Can't wait. Oh, come on, man, let's go. Wow. Come on, Jay, keep up. Sorry, dudes. Sorry. Oh, cheers, man. Thanks. This is ice, man. What is it? <laughs> No, it's alright mate, we're not, we're filming up, but you're not in the shot, don't worry. It's okay. Oh, uh, Elliot. Oh. Hi, uh, we're here to see Sally Edwards. Go on, let's go on. Oh, yes, thank you. Hi there, we've got an appointment to see Sally Edwards. Just go straight down. Thank you. Go. Matron. Cheers, Dave. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Afternoon. I've got a visiting order to see Sally Edwards. Oh, yes. Do you want to just follow me? So you're doing a documentary? Yes, it's for university. Is it called The Animal Woman? No, um, this documentary is exploring all avenues. It isn't a one-sided debate. What do you want to know? Can you tell me what happened? 
So Paul and I were on a walking holiday, all paid for by his boss. We were on our way back to the log cabin, but we got lost. And something was following us. So you were both lost, and you started getting paranoid, seeing things. Because I, I know I would. I did not imagine it. I could see its piercing red eyes staring at me. Okay. What happened then? And then just looming out of the undergrowth came this large, furry, grotesque creature. And it, it started... Jake, Jake, <laughs> cut there. Cut there, Jake. Are you okay to continue? Paul was brutally attacked. And I knew that if I didn't get out of there, then I'd be next. So I just ran. I ran as, as fast as I could and I came across this road and a car pulled up and I jumped in and I pleaded with the man to just drive, just drive away. But then the beast, he, the creature, he killed him too. So I just got out and I just ran. You were lucky to get out alive. You've been through such a terrible ordeal. But no one believes me. They all say that there was no creature or beast. They say I'm ill and I need help. Huh. You don't believe me, do you? I'm not going to believe you. Think I Elliot, my man, are you all right? Well, at least we made out in one piece. I know, tell me about it. Now, have your thoughts changed? Does Sally have the potential to commit murder? I don't know, man. What do you mean, you don't know, man? I mean, I don't know. Did you see? She just went off the level there, man. Saw. So, but I don't want to believe she was involved. Yeah, but you just saw with your own eyes. She just, just went off the scale. Cut the camera. What? What do you mean cut the camera, man? But, uh, dude, come on. We need to document that. I said cut the camera. We're rolling. Yeah, man, we're rolling. We're rolling. Hi, okay, so hi. You know, bit of a treat for you guys today. Like, we're on location um, at Henwick Zoo, as you can see. We're here to meet um, the zoologist, Logan, like, who's agreed to be part of the documentary. He's going to be talking to us and telling us about the likelihood of wild cats in the countryside. So, we're going to go down to the farm and um, talk to him. As you can see, I've got my contacts in. You know, because it's a special, you know, day, so I thought I'd, you know, make a bit of an effort. Cool. So we're going to make our way through the safari park, have a little look, talk, make some new friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and make our way down. None shall pass. Oh, that's the smallest one. Those are small ones. It's small. So when it stands up, it'll be like 18 feet high. <laughs> you can see we're here in the lion enclosure, having a good time. Yeah, very strict rules here the line enclosure. We must stay in the vehicle at all times and do not, under any circumstances, open the window. Oh, what the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> Too much Akuna Matata for you, mate, aren't you, know? You're in the documentary. Say hi. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh. oh, that, oh, it's wet. Oh, it's wet. Yeah, look at his eye. Wow. Look at him. So I'm gonna chew. Having a chew. Oh, what's up, you little fordy? I'm looking forward to seeing Logan. This is gonna be brilliant. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to getting down there and like having a conversation. Like, it's really good that you be, uh, like agreed to be part of the documentary. Hell yeah, man. The smell, man. You can't. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, Logan. Lovely to meet you. I'm Elliot. 
this is Jake. We spoke on the phone, so like. You yeah, know. Well, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, Jake. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks, chaps. All right. Just come for a little bit of info, get your insight, yeah. expertise. If oh that's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, of course, cool. absolutely, yeah. I'll show you fellas around. Because uh, uh, yeah. Thanks. I know, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Family, family place. That's what it's all about, you see. Mm -hmm. Trying to knit here again. I'm gonna feed them now. Construction <laughs> work going on there, you see fellas? Oh, I see man. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, all looking good. <laughs> ah, Foxy. So, guys, um, what is it you wanted to talk to me today about? What what can I help you with exactly? Well, well we're making a documentary about the Ribsford Wood murders back in 2006. Mm. Do you think it could have been a wild animal? Um, well, there's well, there's a possibility that it could be um, a wild animal. Yeah, there's a possibility there is a big cat or a big panther out there in the countryside or in the wild, but <coughs> there's not really been any real evidence to suggest that that's the case. So, I mean, especially in Ribsford Woods. Hmm. So you're disagreeing with the countless sightings and photographs of the beast living there? Well, the beast, to me, the beast is, you know, a cryptic figure, you know, from, from folklore like Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot or something. I have stats that prove that from 2009 to 2015, there were 357 sightings of big cats out in the wild in this country. Okay, well, um, those sightings might not have actually been a big cat, like a puma or a lynx or something, but more likely a large dog. A farmer in North Wales claimed that his sheep were slain by a large cat like a leopard. Um, okay, well, I visited the site to investigate and the farmer and the other people said that it had been killed by a big cat. Okay, and what did the results prove? Uh, well, we found DNA of a leopard on the sheep carcass. Yes! <laughs> yes, it probably escaped from a private zoo or a circus or somewhere. But put it this way, you won't find any big cat or beast in the wild. Thanks for all your help. Yeah. It's been um, enlightening. Yeah, good. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Glad, uh, Cheers, dude. Glad I could help you out. And, nice uh, one. Thank you, Logan. It's all right. Thank you. I'm feeling he's um, holding back something. I'm going to yeah. prove him wrong. We'll ask him to come like, when we go into the woods. Let's see if he wants to tag along with us. Well, you want to ask him if he's going to come to the woods? Yeah, why not? <laughs> For real? Like, you know? Really? It's good. It's nice to like have a, a different opinion. Like uh, we've got more than enough conclusive proof that there's something out there. You know, like, he seems pretty adamant there's nothing out there. A bit too adamant. Really happy today. Like we're just about to actually go into Ridsford Wood. Yes. Like you know, and meet up with Rex Webster, Ooh. who believes his brother was killed by the beast. So. You know, this should be really, like, really interesting. Yeah, yeah, and, like, definitely. I'm so excited this arcs Jake. Um, can't believe it, <laughs> but, like... Um, He's only about it all day. <laughs> the zoologist, um, Logan, has agreed to come in with us and authenticate anything we find. Like, so hopefully we should get some good footage. Yeah, yes, like, yes. hopefully it's, it's going to be good. Like, I'm so excited about this. Um, and, like, oh, we should get they're some... Here, they're here. <laughs> okay, uh, hopefully we should get some um, definitive um, footage of the beast. So yeah, I'm gonna change this jacket because I don't want to get my um, clothes dirty. But yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Can't wait. What, Alex? <laughs> Fuck. Rex, when the police searched the area. They found no trace of the beast, and unfortunately, no trace of your brother, Paul. How confident are you that there's something out there? Well, look, mate, this is what you see. It's one of the biggest forests in the country. You think they searched all of it? I doubt it. Cut. Right then, chaps, listen up. If you see or hear anything, let me know, because we need to remain quiet. Because this big cat 
if he's out there. We'll see us before we hear him. Let's go. You all right, man? Yeah, I'm fine. Not enjoying it? Yeah, that's a bit creepy, I'd say, that. It's got to be done, I guess. Oh, man. Yeah. Over here, quick! Quick! What's up, what's up, what's up? What have we found? Chaps? We've got tracks. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's from a doesn't look like it's from a deer or a dog or anything. But you say with a deer would have I think it's from something else. I think we're onto something here guys. See Rex? This proves it. Okay, right. Tell you what guys. Follow me. Right then guys, so, the tracks seem to go in this direction and up the hill, so I think we should head up the hill okay, and follow cool. them. And you believe it's one beast? Yes. Yes, I do. Yep, the black man always dies first. If the beast is around here, like, like Logan says, uh, I think it's all right to um, follow where this um, goes. Yeah, good call, man. Go on, dear, this guy. Do you reckon it's that hill then? Uh, that's a bit exciting, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like he knows his stuff. I just want to see this beast. Someone's tried to shoot the beast with this cartridge and whether they've survived or not. Or they've killed it, who knows, but... Bloody hell. Tracks would suggest that uh, the beast is still out there. Shit. Oh, good. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, See, this is proof, proof that we are on the right track. Oh, dude. Yeah, I'm starting to think we should have brought a gun first. What? I thought, no, you didn't. A gun? <laughs> no, um, I don't think we need a gun. No. Dude. I don't no. like the way you said well, not that. Not yet anyway, mate. We're only looking for proof. This is all we need. We don't need to get ourselves in any um, danger. We just need to find proof that the beast did exist. We've been following the track marks for four hours. No sign of the beast. No sign of anything. It's a joke. This guy. What's up, guys? Have we found something? We have a problem. Yeah, look. So that's going two different directions. One over there, one over there. Oh. Yeah, okay, chaps. Um, well, I think that... Uh, well, this is a bit of spanner in the works, doesn't it? So I think we should uh, call it a day, what do you reckon? No, yeah? no, 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 no. We'll keep on going. Yeah, that's all well and good, but what set of tracks are we going to follow? Well, we'll split up, then. Oh, well, that's not a very good idea, oh, is yeah, it? Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea, man. No. So we keep on fucking going? Rex! Come this on. isn't a good idea. Come we shouldn't be doing this. this like stupid. we had a plan. Like there's two sets of tracks now, so we need to yeah. like you know go back know and like uh, plan. Yeah, like, we need to we go back to the car. But we'll come back tomorrow, you man. Follow this. Well, These woods are too. If you get lost and you can't find your way back, we can't leave you on your own, can we? Rex, come back, man. Let's just come back tomorrow. Yeah, we'll follow this set of tracks. You'll follow that set of tracks, and then we'll both get bloody lost. We keep on going. I really don't think, you know, we, we should be doing this. No, we need to go back to the car. Yeah, let's go back to the car. But we can't leave him out here. Not like, you know, we're the ones that kind of, like, got him to, you know, be part of this. So I feel kind of responsible. Yeah, no, I know what you mean, man. We can't... It's not safe. He's going, not, he's going, he's going. It's not a good idea. No. We're going to have to go with him. Can we just... Satisfy. Satisfy yeah, Steve. we're coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying now, for the record, wants, I yeah, really we'll don't like this. No, well, I don't like this either, man. I really don't like this. You've got a plan. Stick to a plan. Don't exactly. go and... Joking. Joking. You are having a laugh. Oh, and we're back at the friggin' stream. Oh, well spotted, Miss Marple. Let me just get this right. You mean to tell me we've been walking around in the circle for the last three hours? 
Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, Pretty much. That's exactly what's well, happened here. Looks that way. Yeah. yeah. That's... This has been Dude, a waste come of time. On. Rex, where was your tracks leading us to then, fella? Who you're, you're here live on fucking on on cameras, there. Hey, where's these fucking tracks, then, this man? You're supposed to know these woods, and you're supposed to be a tracker. Yeah. There has to be the most, you know, animal embarrassing, tracks. Like embarrassing, embarrassing. like you know, unprofessional. What? what? It's the same fucking stream, man. You know? Um, you, you're a joke. What? What? what was that? No, seriously, what was that? What was that? I don't know. What was that? Shh. Stop asking me what it was. Come on, let's go. They wouldn't be screaming for nothing, guys. Go. Come on, we need to go and see it. Come on! Yeah, you guys, are, you we should be going towards the danger. We should be getting, like, out of it. We've got enough evidence. Well, it might be well, someone. Those tracks that led us nowhere. Someone's just screamed at there, man. Jake. Listen, no, no, Elliot. Listen, it's over there. Shit. No, God. Jake, look. What? 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 Jake, look, what? we just no, need just to, to, you know, this isn't what we came here for, okay? Yeah, like, you know. Dude, no? there's someone in pain. Someone look. is screaming over look. there. Listen. So what are we? Like, with just a couple of students and. Like a couple of outdoorsy people, okay? We got no special right. skills. It's not our job, okay? We need to go back. You know. What you want get, to just give us? You don't want to investigate what's going on. We could be onto something here, man. Come no, on. No, we could it be could put be attached to the beast. No, be we could be beast. putting ourselves in danger. What we need to do is, we found evidence. We need to go back and get the police. <laughs> I'm going in, man. I'm Jake, going in. Jake, I'm going come in. Back. Jake, don't. Elliot, I'll be alright, trust me. No, you won't be alright. No, no, we need to go. Look, no, 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 I'm I'm not gonna let you go. No, I'm not a pussy. I'm just the one I'm just the only one that's thinking clearly. Get out of my way, man. Get out of my way. Jay! Fucking hell. Who's here? Jake. Fuck, man. What's that? What? What, 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 what the hell is that? What the hell is that? It's Looks like a speaker. Dude, look at this. Hey, what's this? Oh, what the fuck is all this about? I don't fucking know, mate. There's a fucking joke. <laughs> it's fire! Shit, the fucking bed. What's going on here? I mean, like, is this part of the documentary or what? Does it look like part of the documentary? Someone is clearly playing us. And doing a number on us. I said we should have gone. No one listens to me. Listen. Listen. Fucking hell enough. I'm fucking here. I'm fucking running. I think we should go. Oh, finally, you're starting to talk sense. Logan, my mic, where is it? Uh, in the bag, innit? Yeah, the bag that I've been carrying for the last six hours. Well, there's no point complaining about it. You offered to carry it. What the fuck is this? What the... Whoa! Creepy sounds. What's that? Whoa! <laughs> a fucking paw print. Whoa, 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 let's get a look at that. Bag. What is this? Have you been leading us on a wild goose chase? No. Of course I haven't been leading you on a wild goose chase. Then I don't even know it, what that is. How comes it's in your bag? I don't know. I didn't put it in there. No, I that's nothing to do with me. It's just going to be a bit convenient it being in your bag if you didn't put it there. What is this? This is a fucking joke. It was in your bag, dude. So? Come I clean. didn't put it in there. It's nothing to do with me. And we, were, and we have been following your tracks. Yeah, yeah, the tracks. Hang on. Tracks. Yeah, his tracks, you know, yeah. just leading us on a bit of a wild goose chase. You know what? I just can't believe, I can't fucking believe this. What? I just can't believe it. Oh, you're disgusting. Don't, don't, don't accuse me. It's what do you mean, to don't do accuse me. you? Like, the evidence yeah, is all there. Oh, it's, it's in my bag. Day, I, mate. Oh, it's in my bag. Yes, it must be mine. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. So Something's up here. Now. Something's That's wrong here. I'll tell you what's fucking wrong, mate. It's fucking on. you. No. Not fucking no, 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 no. Just no, change no, your no, back. No, no. Change your back.
Yeah, I know why you did it. Sorted. You're going to press your battery in. Your body's back at the zoo. That all I found this weird and wonderful what? animal. What? That's what you fucking did. did. What? You just I didn't do it. I didn't do that. You just press your fucking mates at the zoo. That's all it is. You got to admit, it is. Of course it is. What? That is not suspect at all. That is absolute load of bloody nonsense. I have not put anything in my bag. What the fuck is that then? I don't know, I didn't put it there, I didn't, I didn't never even seen it before. You know what? Accusing me of all this stuff, but didn't your brother die in these woods? Oh, come getting on, killed no, by some sort of bloody monster? Harsh, that makes that's more that's sense. That's 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 the whole reason why we're here, dude, right? I am, I'm gonna bring his brother into it because his brother died by getting killed by this monster. That's nonsense, harsh. absolute load of rubbish. Dude, you put on, that stuff man, in my bag, accusing me of doing this. Logan, it's you, it's you. Logan, fuck! Oh, yeah. Fucking shit. Well, I say, well, I hope everybody's enjoying the show. I'll tell you what, mate, I'm just going to say it how it is. Logan, just do it, mate. <laughs> Dickhead! Whoa, 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 Guys, back off. Back off! Okay? Everyone, this needs to calm down. <sighs> Look at him, not bloody bleeding. Look, you're not fucking dead. Yeah, yeah, says the one who set me up. Like, just back so the away. With the like, dead just brother. Just walk away. Logan, walk, just go, mate. Like, just walk, go. Walk Logan. Away. I'll tell you what. Logan. Yeah, good Logan. idea. Good Logan. idea. Just go, mate. Yeah. Go on. Just go. Good idea. Go on, mate. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Get out of Fuck here, you. Man. Just go. I'm like, fucking, fucking going. Walking, I'm you know? going. Fucking keep on walking. I'm fucking going. Yeah, you keep on walking too. See this, man? Fucking blaming me. Some yeah. project this has turned out to be. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck hey, you. Hey, fuck, fuck you, you, man. Fuck you all. No, fuck you, I've given up my oh, time. Oh, just fuck off. I'm fucking hardly paid me. Fuck you. off. I'm fucking doing this for you fuckers and for fucking what? To what, setting accused. us up? I get accused of that bullshit. No, fuck Good off. job setting us up in the woods, yeah, with the tracks yeah. and everything. Thanks. Animal, yeah. No, we got nothing. Yeah, Great. <laughs> Help! 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 That does not sound good. Do you reckon he's actually in trouble? Oh, oh, like you're concerned now. Oh, I am now, yeah. This is a nightmare. We need to get ah! out of here. Ah! 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 Fuck this, fuck ah! this, fuck him, ah! fuck, ah! fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, ah! fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it. What? 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 We can't leave him now. We've got to go back. What do you mean we can't leave no, him? We, look, 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 look. Did you hear that stuff? We need to get out of here. No, By all means, no, like, no, he's, get, he's, like, get help. He's still a wanker, right? But we do need to go back. No, we him. don't. We, we do. can't right. leave him there. He's right, man. We need to go we back. We can't leave him there, dude. We need to go back. What do you mean? We, we need, need to go to... back. No, we, we don't. Go. We need to go and get we need... help. We are not, we like, you go. go. What? We need to go. Guys, look, we are not prepared for this. Dude, we need to, dude, listen, man, we need to just... No, no, you listen. I, like, I've followed this, like, you know, this has got way out of hand. We need professional help. He's clearly not a professional. He's proven that. No, we need to go and get help. No, no, I, no, I refuse. I'm not going that way. Like, we need to go and get help. Like, come we on, need to come... Come on, come on, let's go and help him out. Sure, come on. What's the matter? Oh, oh. 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 shit! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. We need to get out of here now. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. Are you listening to me? We need to get out of here. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm going. You wanna stay here? Fine. What the? Are you sure you know where you are now? No, 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 this is excellent, this is excellent. I know exactly where we are now. The fucking The car is literally on the other side of this tunnel. Really? Yep, yep. You know that for sure? You know yep. that for certain? You go through them bushes down there, it's down the bank, it's just there, Look, mate. Like, we just need to get out of here. I've been saying this, like, you know, for the best part of the day. We just, just get out of here, and we can regroup, get the authorities. I just want to get out of here. Let's go. Let's fucking get out of here. Yeah, we'd have to go for a creepy tunnel. Uh, hey, you know, yeah, this is the way out, mate. We're gonna get it quick. This is the way out. Fucking hey, man. Elliot, Jake, Elliot. Look, guys, I've got something to say. It's kind of important. Hello. Get out of here. Look, <laughs> huh? Sue, can I quickly just say something, please? Boys, I can't keep this in any longer. What? Uh. It was me that did all the speakers. 
It was me that set Logan up. It was me with the paw prints. What the, what the fuck? fuck? Shit. What did you say? It was me. Yeah. Right. So you all of this? Logan's death is your fault? No. You let us no. down here? No. I what do you I had nothing to do with this death. I believed you. I want to keep the memory of my dead brother alive. I believed you. I was just keeping the memory of them, my dead brother alive. I had nothing to do with this death. Fucking hell. All you had nothing to do with any of this crazy shit. All you had to do was be honest. Now Logan's dead. I'm Damn. done with this documentary. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Have you got any signal on your phone? Oh, Come on. Shit. Come on. Come on. Sorry, Jake. This is Elliot Mooney. I'm the last survivor of this documentary. I'm trying to find my way out of, of the wood. But I'm lost. Oh, for fuck's sake! I hope it's Where's the way of help? Please, someone, show me the way of help. I just want to go home. What the fuck is that? I'm 
totally lost. I'm shitting myself that I'm the next to die. These woods are cursed. There it is again. Fuck. Fuck, what is that? Do you hear that? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. This is for you, Jake. King of darkness, Lord of death. 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 Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Dominus, Utades, Vabis, Nostras, Malam. Hokumarum offering Tenebris Dominus Utades Vobis Almighty and powerful Satan. Almighty and powerful Satan. King of darkness, Lord of death. King of darkness, Lord of death. We pledge to do your work. We pledge to do your work. To serve you. To serve you. Let this knife draw out the blood. Oh, no. Let this, this knife draw out the blood. Let 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 this knife draw out the blood. Stop! Get him! Oh fuck!
This is for you, Jake. And Logan. Bob Nugent. Paul. And Rex Webster. And especially Sally Edwards. This is proof that the beast is real. That there's some kind of demon cult. And I will make sure, because the last thing I do, this will video... <laughs> Find me that creepy guy in the goat mask and those fuckers in the hooded robes and bring me that beast. Yeah. Yeah.